So just two for my three jumping efforts now for Laura Collett and Blink. And, uh, setting uh, the standard on Pathfinder. So just coming on now to Ashton Hall's uh, R. Spencer at 21. It's not a straight gallop to the finish as they have a, a narrow roll top and uh, 21A followed by the corner. But
thing is over. The uh, Ashley Dawes fence 21 and the Nath finale to complete. So first one safely home. And Izzy Taylor at about the halfway point comes on now to the Wyman T-Log at 10. Our next to start will be 418. It's uh, Max Warburton with uh, Sarah Strong's Artful Trinity. Fine. And Mikey around uh, jumps the rail at 17 but refuses at the drop. Uh, Izzy Taylor picking up 20 penalties at 17B. Sends are fine, and they bring forward 29.4 in the dressage, 8.4 uh, penalties collected, show jumping, so clearly that uh, phase. A little bit of that arena, that's what we're talking about. fine returns, and it's the power to the water for the second round. Jumps in, Can do too. Also aimed by Gaspard. It's a nine year old. 36.5 in the dressage for them. And again, a pole roll in there. So jumping. So it's another four. Add to that. 40.5 of their two face score. Well, opportunity and Max Warburton just two from home. Course covering 3,550 metres get uh, inside that optimum time uh, the riders need to be crossing the country at a speed of 570 meters per minute on the saw bench fence at 13 on course uh, for france uh, gaspard maxud the nine-year-old uh, can do too and, and written by uh, gaspard uh, bringing forward with a uh, two-phase call of 14.5 Safely over the first two. Opportunity back for the 
involving Dave Hodgson before Harriet Wright. Stop, I'm looking at the sea. Stop. That big parallel combination at the sea.
Fredericks, Britannia's male. Extravagant jumping over those two offset rails at eight and nine, Matthew Smith and Wizard. To that final stretch now with about three fences left to go. And, uh, time for a change of voice. She'll be shortly handing you over. Roger Trinnett. Arrowhead brush, the sea element. And indeed clear of all three elements. So across the uh, lovely turf there in the main arena, and it's on to the roller skate box. Yesterday, 
control. Coming on to the final combination, Astrid Oil's ass. That's a skinny roll top. To the brush corner. And then it's final push uphill and on towards the nap. Final fence at 22. Six minutes 14 off the side. Thomas Hewitt jumps and starts from fixing the table at 11. Imogen Murray joins us on Rojas Ruby. This is your Bay Mare. Coming to the Western Tent, the Tainer's brush corner at 12. So, Olive Manning stops the clock. It's going to be pretty close to that optimum time on 6 minutes 14. Nicely over the. The Tainer's the brush corner at 12, so Tom McEwen. Image of Murray then clear off the table at 3.
Scored ambassador and Adam Troop come home in 7 minutes 32, 31.2 time penalties for them. In there, the three places. No cross country jumping penalties of uh, 84.6, nearly one rider. Yeah, you're good. Actually, bang on the opening time of 6 minutes. No one the time yet. Flavor. The leaderboard as the 
moment, as I say, Oliver Tanner with the lead on 28.3. But we do have to come some very low scoring combinations here. Laura Collins not least on 11.52. Led after Dressels and Show Jumping still with uh, just 19.8 penalties uh, to the name of the City Gate Cross Country. Same boat with the Nirvana. French of BDL comes in with 6 minutes 52, 15.2 times to that. And then gives them a three phase four of 14, 8.8. Down into the top speaker reading. Down into the top speaker reading. Well, Ditch. Rails there. It's ten year old. I am by Claire Manton, ridden by Emma Manton. And Cooley Rosalind. Uh, this is uh, of course uh, sired by uh, Valent and Bolaney uh, Jewel, owned by Paul Richard, his nine year old, by Oliver Tannen, returning to the Simmons and Sampson Water now for the second attempt. Fence seven, big long drop into it. And approaching the two offset. is a 12-year-old Bay Gelding, owned and ridden by Paolo. Um, comes forward, lovely dress, our score for them of 28.4, did have a couple of show jumps down, so eight penalties to add to that, and they are in fact through the water for the first time at that combination at five. Next starter will be Susie Berry, Susie the rider of Wellfields Lincoln, 10-year-old Bay Gelding this one, owned by the Sun Marlin. Just a little bit behind them, Laura Collett and Capo into second place. As things stand, their score at 29.1. And Aaron Miller, KC Deacon holding third on a score of 33.1. But some of the high placed riders are very much still featuring, still to come out across the country. Next ride will be for Sarah Beagle. Sarah Beagle. Sarah Beagle. Sarah Beagle. and then out through that arrowhead brush at sea goes Sarah Bullimore and Evita AP. Next to start, this is a ride for Andrew Downs. Brings forward Cooley Foxtrot, nine-year-old gelding. That's also his own by Mrs Jane Moss and Mr Andrew Downs, who's partners Cooley Foxtrot with a dressage score of 34.5 and just the one show jump. 
Downs, Cooley Foxtrot, at the Protex and Puzzle, Parallel and Skinny Log combination, Fence 6, both of those rails with the uh, safety feature of the men's clips. Four, five, eight, clear 17. to do about that and um, in fact has opted to retire sadly following those problems at the water at five so Tara Dixon and Master Smart they'll be walking home we still got Pippa Funnel and MCS Maverick out on course Everybody wants an ice cream on a hot day. Yeah, we're yeah. Four, three, five, we, we have a blanket. Okay. 
that score for Kitty will go into about fifth place at the moment. It's quite tight at the top. Clear through the water at five, Jimmy Thomason and Gladstone. Next to start, this will be Barney Brotherton. Uh, Cash Casino, team year old Grey Gold in this one, though, written by Barney. He's just 20 years old and a work provider for Harry Mead for the last three years or so. Dressage score for this combination is 33.4. Just had one show jump down at 1.2 time. Two of the Clear. Up to and over the roller state office at 18, as Laura call it. And London 52. Next for them is the eventual zone stump at 19. Just this little final stretch, of course, now. Jilly Thomason and Gladstone comes back through the water for the second time over that long drop at seven to the offset rails at eight and nine. Dressage, good clear in the show jumping, They're sitting in 8th place before cross country. Yeah, well, Oliver Tone and in. through the hedge line onto the Chatham shoe boxes, those square upright boxes at 4. First combination pair. Molly Summerland. Samson log drop into the water at seven. Molly Sutherland. And the Black Hills, the nine year old, flow seven. Come up the hill to the final fence. Take that and then gallop on into the woods and stop the clock. Log on the mound. And then that's followed by the big table, the picnic table, the Darts Farm fence at eleven. Then Piggy March, book of Cavalier Cruise. So on then to these, uh, this new fence.
grinding the second water, they jump the right hand of those brushes across the pond, then the left hand brush out again. No problems there for Brookfield Cavalier Crews. So two more numbered fences to go. So there's another of those pushes on, pushes up the hill. Just test them, certainly in these uh, warm conditions. But this ground conditions perfect. Staff here done a wonderful job over the last few weeks. Watering last night. Running. Still moving on as they go. Pass control. Well done, Tom. Nice round. So we will 
Switzerland. In the fifth, Pippa Funnel, Jonathan and Jane Parks, MGA, Grafton Street. In four, with the Hayden Zahn and Mitchell Fox Group, Stringilda, Oliver Tarnan. In third, with the Capo, Laura Collins. In second, Oliver Tarnan and Swallow Springs. And the winner, Laura Collins at London 52. Oh, I'm surprised he's going out there. And the top set for as well.